Today, we're gonna to go over seven things that you should know about Transaction Desk. First, there's multiple ways to access Transaction Desk. You can do that by going to Transaction directly, or you can do it from the MLS menu or directly from an MLS listing. That's a great way because it'll import all of that listing information into your Transaction Desk for you automatically. You can create a team in Transaction Desk, whether this is for you, you and your assistant, you and a transaction coordinator, or a full team with you, administrative, and buyers and listing agents. You can create a team so that you can share documents, you can share transactions, and you can even impersonate one another. You can access everything in Transaction Desk from your iPhone. However, you will need to link the device to the software. Each transaction is given a unique email that will allow you to email directly to the transaction documents and other information that you want to keep and save in the transaction. You have the ability to create your own transaction templates and checklists. You can also use the pre-created ones that the office made for you, or you can create your own. You can create predetermined form packages so that you don't have to continually hunt for forms over and over again. So these are a few of the things that you can do inside Transaction Desk. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to jump into each one of them and give you just a quick, quick overview so that you can understand how to access or set them up. The easiest way to access Transaction Desk will be to create a shortcut on your top menu. Another convenient way to access Transaction Desk is to go into any listing and you'll see the listing menu here. Go over to where it says more, click on more, and then click open in transaction desk. This will import all of the information about the property, the pictures, the descriptions, um, even the agent information directly into transaction desk for you. Once you're inside transaction desk, you'll notice that there's a menu over here on the left hand side. On the left hand side, you can go to the gears or the settings, click on the settings, and this will allow you to share or create a team. So you can create the team and then add the people to the team. Under that same settings menu, you'll see linked applications. This is important if you wanna access from your iPhone. You'll have to come in here, authorize your iPhone and get an activation code. You may have to do this from time to time for security purposes because there can be lots of sensitive information inside Transaction Desk. Unfortunately, at this time, Android is not supported and the app only works for iPhones. Once you're in a transaction, you'll notice on the top, there's an icon here with an envelope or a contact card. What you can do with this is click on the envelope and you'll see that you'll have a unique email address. This email address is going to be specifically to this transaction. So if you carbon copy when you send an email, this email address, it will go directly into your documents inside Transaction Desk. You can also download the contact and upload into your CRM. When using the clauses, this is a great feature for you. And most people don't realize that it's there. So what happens is if you're on a form or an addendum where you have the ability to type in, you click your cursor there, then move up to clauses, and it'll ask you, you can either search for them or you can pick whether it's a system clause, an office clause, or a personal clause. Personal ones are only seen by you, office are only seen by the office, and the system ones are set by the board. So if you have a personal clause that you wanna put in there, such as home warranty or right to cancel, you just click on that, click OK, and then it's gonna go ahead and fill in the clause for you. See, these clauses can be small, they can be large, but if there's anything that you find yourself repetitively typing over and over and over again, um, you have the ability to go ahead and put that in right away. To create your own clauses, you'll go back to the settings and you'll see in the settings, there's a clause. And then you can choose um, personal clauses. You won't be able to edit the office or system as you won't have access, but you'll be able to edit your own personal clauses and create them right here. Another great feature located over here on your, on your transaction dashboard or menu is going to be checklists. So you can create a checklist and what you do is you come over to here and you hit add. 
When you add the checklist, it's going to ask you, do you want to add one item or do you want to add a whole checklist? A great way to start is by adding the checklist. And you'll see that we've pre-created uh, quite a few checklists in here. And you can just click on them and it'll add all of the things that you need for that checklist in there. You also have the ability to go in and create your own checklists on there as well. So the, for this transaction, it's a selling side for vacant land. Click that and hit apply. And it's now going to apply all of the checklists that would be part of that based on the dates. And then you can go through and check them off as you complete or upload the forms as an attachment and so forth. You can even have it notify the buyer or seller that this checklist item has been done. So you have the ability to create your own custom checklist or use the ones we've created. To create your own, you'll go to the settings again. And in settings, you will see checklist manager. Under checklist manager, you'll be able to come in here and create your own checklist uh, simply by clicking add, and then you'll add all of the things that you want in your checklist. Now, when creating a new transaction and you're using the wizard, you'll be able to check a form package. And this custom form package will have everything that you need to, ha need to have in the transaction that we've predetermined by the office, all the way down to our pending form, um, which will automatically be in there and any other things that you'll need. So it's going to put all of that basic stuff in there. Now, if you want to add individual forms, you'll come over here and you can add additional forms. But if you'd like to create your own custom form packages, you're able to do that as well. You would just go here again to settings, the little gears, you would, come, you would come up to transaction template and you'd click transaction template. And then you would click add and you would be able to then name it as a personal template, whether it's for vacant land, whether it's for housing, whether it's for short sales, however you want to do it. And then you'd go add the forms or documents that you want to use on there. Another cool thing that you can do here is even add your pre-listing package or other documents and disclosures that you want to share with people. You can go ahead and add those packages or templates uh, in here as well. Okay, so those were seven tips that you should know when using Transaction Desk. I hope you found them helpful and I hope you're able to start implementing them right away. If you have any questions or there's anything we can do to help you, please just let us know. I know it was a quick overview and just kind of hitting on the highlights, but I figured most of you will be able to fill in the blanks. But if you need that step-by-step -step instructions, just let me know. Thanks a lot and have a great day.